So when it comes to Google My Business Posts, then there's lots of questions you may have asked about it. I mean, there's all sorts of posts. There's products, there's offers, and there's what's new, which we're going to look at today. But questions like, is there really any SEO benefits from writing a post on Google My Business? How often should I actually write an article? Should it be every week, every few days? How long should the article be when I upload it to Google My Business? And also, whereabouts are these articles once I've written them? Where do I see them? Whereabouts are they? Well, we're going to look at all those questions, plus a load more. I'm going to show you how easy it is to write a Google My Business post. Thanks for joining me. I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and I enjoy helping businesses like yours grow on the internet. So if you're trying to build your business up, maybe locally, and trying to get more business, well then hopefully my videos, if you apply them, will benefit you. Now today we're going to look at particularly Google My Business and the posts. So how do the posts work? And how do we answer some of those questions? Well, first of all, is there any SEO benefit from Google My Business posts? Well, the answer is yes. And you'll notice there's lots of different types of click through actions or call to action buttons. And they actually give some type of juice or some type of signal to Google when you link through to various areas. So we'll see how to do that in a moment. But certainly from an SEO point of view, then yes, these posts are well worth using. What about the length of the post? Well, you could write uh, just a few words if you wanted, but bearing in mind you want it to be relevant, informative. You can have up to 1,500 characters. I would suggest maybe three to 400 would be fine. Use a few keywords, a few local towns as well. And uh, that alone, along with a, an interesting article and a good image uh, and a geotagged image, of course, will benefit your clients too. What about how often should you actually post? Well, once a week is probably the most ideal situation because that's when things kind of get renewed. But even if you did it two or three times a week, that would be good. If you leave it longer than a week, then the benefits are going to be diminished. So probably I'd say at least once a week, if you can, just have a small update and let's Google be signaled that you're still relevant and interested in updating your Google My Business account. And finally, where do these posts appear? Well, let's jump on the computer now and I'll show you how to write a post and also where these posts appear. So the easiest way to create a post is literally to go to your business listing in Google, uh, click on create a post, and then it'll come up and there you, then you'll be able to see how you can create a post. And then simply, if you have in mind a particular article you want to write about, try and bear in mind a few things like keywords, uh, mentioning uh, the, the locality in which you're doing your business. Uh, we'll go through some of these different types of events and posts and offers and products um, on another video. But for now, we're just going to do what's new. So it's just an update. Uh, we asked the question, how often should you update this? Well, at least once a week because your post only lasts for about a week and then it starts to kind of disappear. So every week, if you can, update at least one post. Ideally, two or three a week is the best way because that gives the right signal to Google. And then simply you just click on here. You find uh, a particular um, image or you can drag it across and upload if you haven't got one. So we can do that. You find an image you want to use. Uh, say it's one of my office or a video or something and you can then add that in there. Now here's what I've just uh, made a little bit earlier. Um, when you upload the images where well, you'll find it probably just crops it. So you just need to pull this across to make sure you don't lose any of the image and then you can upload that and uh, that's fine. So I've done that already. Next I'm going to then add a post and I've written this already so I'm just going to copy and paste this in. So it's just a case of, again, using some good keywords, making sure it's relevant to what your clients want. Just put a few things there like uh, your, your what you do, your products and so on. And then here's a question. Should you choose one of these call to actions in particular? So if you do a call now, then it will just do the telephone number. Uh, if you do a sign up, then it wants a link to someone on your website. If you do a learn more, then that's the common one for just any link. Uh, if you do buy, then this will generally be expecting to go to a product page. 
if you then go to order online again it's a similar thing really just another link through and uh, if you want to book something as well now most of these are quite similar so you've got to think about which one would your client expect to see now for me mine's just going to be more detail about what they're reading so uh, this is going to be learn more uh, this is a uh, basically just showing them how they can advance their knowledge of Google my business actually and then I've just got a YouTube video that I'm going to link through to so I'm going to put that on there which will help for my visitors to go through and see that so I can preview that see what it looks like yeah that's fine and then I can publish it as well and then that goes live very good uh, so how does that then appear well once it's gone live you can generally see it in a few areas so uh, the first area you can go to is Google Maps so you'll notice here in Google Maps it now appears on a carousel so uh, I can move this along and my latest one can then appear and show so so within the the normal uh, results you can then come down and what you will see is products comes a long way above it and we'll come on to products in a different video but here you can see some of the the the, uh, the ways in which this is integrated if I click on this it goes through to this if I click on learn more then it will go through to the video that I mentioned so that's kind of how that works the other way is in Google Maps again if I do a search web designers I come up and the notice there from the owner so I've just done again this uh, this tutorial and it comes up on here as well so there's no movement but if I click on that you get the full flavor of it learn more and then that takes you through again to the video so hopefully that's useful for you what we are going to do is in future um, videos I am going to look and see why have we got all these other things here that you can uh, add but for now you can get a good idea of how to use Google My Business posts and you can also if you want to know more about how to make Google My Business more powerful then I'm going to put a link above now that will give you 13 tips to how you can improve your Google My Business so thanks for watching and hopefully you'll enjoy this video